The Indian Navy's indigenously built survey vessel, named Ikshak, is scheduled to be commissioned at Naval Base Kochi on 6 November 2025. The ceremony will be led by Admiral Dinesh K. Tripathi, Chief of the Naval Staff, marking the official induction of the vessel into the Navy. The Indian Army is adapting its strategies in response to lessons learned from the drone heavy battlefields of Ukraine. This involves the rapid induction of low-cost first-person view drones, which are being developed as effective interceptors against more expensive enemy unmanned aerial vehicles. As the Indian Air Force faces challenges with squadron shortages and evolving aerial threats, the need for indigenous very long-range air-to-air missiles has become critical. The focus is on the Rudram-1, a supersonic anti-radiation missile developed by the DRDO that is designed for suppression of the Indian Air Force has taken a significant step in enhancing its capabilities in contested airspace by issuing a request for proposal for 800 medium-range swarm unmanned munition systems. This initiative aims to integrate advanced swarm technology into the IAF's arsenal, enabling it to engage enemy defenses from distances exceeding 350 kilometers. The DRDO is enhancing the Astra MK to beyond visual range air to air missile to achieve an engagement radius of 200 km. This upgrade follows successful ground trials that demonstrated a theoretical range of 193 km at Mach 3.5, with a sustained burn time of 160 seconds. The missile was initially designed for 160 km intercepts. But improvements to its dual pulse rocket motor have allowed for this significant enhancement. The Indian Air Force and Defence Research and Development Organisation conducted a groundbreaking maritime strike exercise off the Konkan coast, showcasing the integration of manned and unmanned systems in high-threat naval scenarios. This exercise featured a Hal Tejas light combat aircraft working in tandem with UAVs to perform precision strikes while adhering to strict maritime safety protocols. The article discusses recent claims regarding Qatar's Rafale fighter jets and their supposed impact on Pakistan's air capabilities against India. It critically analyzes the validity of these assertions, suggesting they stem from exaggeration and misinformation, often fueled by adversarial narratives. India's AMCA program is progressing towards the rollout of its first prototype by 2028, while there are discussions surrounding its generational capabilities, the AMCA MK-1 is recognized as a fifth-generation fighter despite the absence of a distributed aperture system in its initial variant. The distributed aperture system is expected to be included in the MK-2 variant, enhancing the aircraft's situational awareness and potentially elevating it to a 5 plus gen or 6th generation. Classification the Indian is set to enhance its infantry firepower with the indigenously developed man-portable anti-tank guided missile weapon system, which is expected to achieve operational clearance by 2026. This third-generation missile system, developed by the DRDO, is designed to effectively neutralize armored threats in high-altitude and urban environments. The Indian Air Force has initiated a significant procurement process by issuing a request for information for 100 sets of aircraft self-protection jammer pods, specifically designed for the Sukhoi Su-30 MKI fighter jets. This initiative is part of the Make in India framework, aimed at enhancing the electronic warfare capabilities of India's air power amidst rising threats.